Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. Let's see what message comes through. And just keep in mind that these are general readings and timeless readings. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. Hmm. There's a divine masculine here who is really thinking about connecting with divine feminine, meaning starting some sort of communication. But there is, yes, there is a but. <laughs> um, he is, it's like very close to, it's like the, the urge is there. It's like he really wants to contact divine feminine, whether it be a phone call, I feel it could be a phone call, a text message, something like that to reach out first initial contact. Um, but there is a little bit of a difficulty here. I'll explain what it is. Uh, it shows here that he knows that you two are very strongly connected. He is in a situation at this time where it's difficult for him to to talk to you, to reach out to you he it's like he has to be careful it's something about being careful because he is stuck it shows here he is stuck in something which he's trying to come out of it's like very close to to that feeling of it's like the divine has put it in his heart that you need to reach out to divine feminine this is the time for you to reach out to divine feminine connect with divine feminine and this divine fem masculine is feeling the longing for divine feminine. He's feeling longing. But he's not, he's not able to make that initial contact because there's something going on right now. It's, it's not something small. It's something that's really complicated. He's already made the decision that things that have to do with the past it's like, I don't want history to repeat itself. I want to do things right this time. But when is the right time? This masculine is, is questioning. When is the right time? He wants to speak to Divine Feminine. I feel he is still with this karmic individual. That's what I feel in this reading. Whoever this resonates for, you may know. But... I see here that this um, this energy in this reading, whoever this is, they use their emotions to make things more complicated for masculine. I see here that this is somebody who's very selfish, very, very selfish. They use um, emotion. It feels like to get very emotional to make divine masculine feel um if it feels like sympathy, to feel some sort of sympathy or to feel, ignite some kind of emotion within this divine masculine that makes him feel guilty in some sort of way. There's, there's a lot of little things that have to do with emotions, um, holding on to masculine, using emotions. This is somebody who is very selfish. They don't, I feel they don't really care about divine masculine's feelings. It's like, let, let Divine Masculine feel guilty for being late. Or let Divine Masculine feel guilty for not being home for dinner. Something like that. And I feel this Divine Masculine does get very emotional. They do feel, feel guilty. I mean, whoever is doing this, they are succeeding in that. Which is very unfortunate. It's like they know what makes Divine Masculine feel sad or insecure or nervous this is somebody who's really studied divine masculine quite well there's so much heaviness in this reading 
um, remember how I mentioned that he wants to call you, but there's so many like little things that are there. Um, it adds up. It's like, it's not just one thing. It shows complications, a lot of things that are intertwined, things that are connected to other things. That's why it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's just like Divine Mask can, can get rid of this, let go of something in order for him to move forward. It's like that something is connected to something else, something else, something else. It keeps going. I feel like there are so many layers that are that are involved in this situation that Divine Masculine is like, he feels the need to reach out to Divine Feminine. But at the same time, I don't want her to be, I feel like, it's like a maze. Like, I don't want Divine Feminine to get lost in this maze that I've created with this person. It's a, it feels like a maze. These two are stuck. Divine Masculine and this Karmic are stuck in this really complicated maze and it's just not like a regular maze there are vines there are twines there are like whatever this is very um i feel like very fo foggy and this masculine is like i don't even know it. even if i want to step out how do i do this but I feel one of the things that this Divine Masculine is doing is trying to come like, it's like trying to balance. Let me just come back to me. Let me try to recognize who I am. Remember who I am. It's like in this, in this maze, it's like, let me come into this stillness. I, what I'm visualizing is Divine Masculine goes into one corner of this maze and tries to close his eyes and come back to self it's like because when his eyes opens it's like he is reminded about this maze that he's trying to get out of it's like he might see a glimmer of hope he might see the sunshine down right for a moment what I'm visualizing is an outdoor maze. These two are, this is the visual I'm getting. These two are in an outdoor maze, right? There is, there's nothing above it. It's just the sky, right? But in one, one moment, this divine masculine has like a, a touch of that sun, that, that glimmer of hope, that ray of sunshine. That cannot be seen in all angles of this maze. It's just for a moment he may see it. That's what I see here in this reading about a moment of some clarity that I can see that there is hope. And what is that hope? That there's an opportunity there for me to reach out to Divine Feminine. I can. I can reach out to Divine Feminine. But I'm still in this maze. I, I see the light i see the divine feminine light she's radiating some moments he does not see it because he's too consumed in the maze some moments he he looks up there's a glimmer of hope he sees an opportunity to reconnect with divine feminine that's the best way i can explain that's the visual i'm getting is that there's a maze there's a lot of things that are intertwined within that maze these two are running around they are not necessarily together they're what i see is that there's two people running around in the same maze there are times when they pass each other there are times when they find each other but most of the time there's a separation it's like, how do I get out? How do I make my way out? How can I see, see a light that will lead me, lead me out of this maze? Where's the, where's the entrance? Where's the exit? Where's the opening? And I feel like this divine masculine has been too consumed in this maze that he's forgotten what it's like to be on the other side. What it's like to be outside of the maze, free. He's already made a decision that I want out. But how do I 
get out when I'm so lost. When I'm so lost, I don't see beyond these walls. So when he sees that glimmer of hope, it's like, I have this opportunity. I can, if I want to, I can call divine feminine, but then the but comes in. But how do I reach out to divine feminine when I'm in this? I don't want divine feminine to get, get stuck in this maze as well. It's like, I don't want divine feminine to even know. I feel like he doesn't even want you to know how lost he is in this. I don't feel like it has to do with like he feels ashamed by it. That if you found out or if you knew what he's been going through. I feel like it's more. Feels like. What he is experiencing, he would not wish upon anyone. And he doesn't want you to even know what he went through or is going through. It's like he's concerned about because he knows. He knows how much you love him. And he's worried that if you knew just even this much about what he is going through. It's like, I don't want Divine Masculine to, I mean Divine Feminine to know what I've been experiencing in this maze. The thought of the thought of you knowing, um, I feel like he rather you not know because it's like if you don't know, then he's just dealing it dealing with it on his own. But if you know, it's like he doesn't want you to feel the emotions that he is going through. Not even a, a little bit of that feeling of what he is experiencing or going through. It's like he wants to protect your energy. It's like, I want you to remember me as I was. I want you to remember me the way, the way we used to be. The way you felt when you were happy with me. It's like he wants you to remember the good. Because he finds you very precious, very pure. That divine love, he's, he knows that. That you are so unique and he doesn't want anything of the maze to even, not even the shadow of the maze to come near your light. Because you are that ray of hope, that sunlight, right? He doesn't want any shadows of, the, of this maze to even come near you. But he failed to understand that the sun above cannot have the shadows of the maze down below. Right? Because the sun is what is giving the light. That is the divine light. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye, everyone.